it was scary. I was afraid we were going to lose some lives and it was going to burn down other houses. According to neighbors like Karen Kennedy, this is the second fire in their neighborhood in this year alone. But she says no matter how many times it happens, the smell and sound of sirens is nothing you'll ever get used to. It's uh, very unnerving in the middle of the night to hear all the sirens going and flashing lights going down the street. CFD officials say it was one of the most challenging fires in recent history. The house that we were in was extremely complex. It had lots of additions um, and lots of void spaces that trapped a lot of fire under some concrete patios, uh, which really made it extremely difficult uh, for the firefighters to gain access to the seat of the fire to be able to extinguish it. However, Chattanooga Fire Chief Phil Hyman, who was at the scene, says water also played a factor. In this particular case, uh, our fire hydrants were supplied by a gravity tank on, on the hill. Uh, so we, we, as we were fighting fire, uh, we were draining that tank down and we immediately called them uh, for them to boost pumps to continue to fill that tank. So we never lost water. However, at the end of the day, regardless of this being the second fire in the same year, friends say it's just heartbreaking to see a fire tear down yet another home in their neighborhood. A lot of people never go through anything like this. and. This is everything he's ever invested in as a hard-working man that's just gone.